What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ashes the Rebirth. So my voice is chopped this morning for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because of worship or because I just need to shut up for a bit and listen more. But my voice sounds like this. So I wanted to give y'all some bowl action because the frequency is really good. We're really getting in sync, me and the the tool and the vibe and, and, and how it works. You know what I mean? It's like learning a new language you know what i mean even if you have multiple bowls right because they're all going to be different sacral energy here y'all we waking up to heart chakra energy we waking up to and i got a couple of cards out here on the board um but i just want to you'll know when when it's in sync you you know what i mean Yeah, it begins to feel, yeah. Heighten itself. We'll let you know if there's a lot of sacral energy in the space or if there's a lot of heart chakra healing in the space going on, you know. You become in tune with your tools so you'll know how to pick up on the messages it's given you. Or else would it be a tool? I think she was showing off a little bit too, okay? <laughs> I think just maybe she was showing off a little bit too, okay? Okay, okay. I've got my um, my lightning bolt, my thunder for my Dorji Bell on the board, okay? I've got rose quartz in the building okay carnelian came off our main altar where i usually read for y'all um candlelit i've got a piece or a, a slate of clear no this is selenite uh, not clear quartz a slab uh, of selenite uh that is of talisman use right now um and on it is a space of abundance and healing and it says that the happier you are with what you already have, the happier you are. <laughs> Thank you, God, is what it says. <laughs> Literally. I would show y'all the card, but the where that selenite is, is being used like talisman right now. And that card is right there with it. And there's something transpiring. Um, and so my hands are, are not to touch it at this moment. I gotta let spirit be spirit. And what else is out here on the board is the garden card. Okay, 20. Oh, 20. Okay, I thought that was 29 while ago when I looked. This is garden 20. Oh, 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 this is, oh, and the light ain't even hitting it right, okay? Oh my gosh, it's so nice though, okay? It's garden, the colors, everything about it, okay? This is duality of a thing. This is this is like the sweeter things. This is like the sacred set aside, like where you you know where you're you you draw beauty into you. You you draw you draw in that even in which is ugly, and it wants to be beautiful, or at least it runs reverence to to the beauty over there in the in the garden. You know what I mean? And I can hear you know like old school R and B. You know, secret garden. You know what I mean? Um, It's the sacredness of it, Spirit is speaking about. It's the ability to take, I hear, that beauty beast energy coming back. We, we did that in another video before Spirit spoke about that. It's given beauty be, beauty, and the beast vibes. It's, it's given, here's the garden, right? Uh, here's the, it's given grove, right? Back here, you can see it's, it's beauty all nestled all up and through here. And now that you found it, you you run you you run reverence for this beauty. You you even may be feeling 
like beast come through here you you don't i don't care about any of this <laughs> you know people come through and i don't care about any of this it's just a, i'm gonna smash in the beauty of it i i'm in awe for real i can't even it's lauren hill in the building i can't you just so good to be true i i ooh, can't take my eyes off of you because you 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 slow down she said, you be like heaven to touch. See, I want to hold you so much. At last, long love has arrived. And I just thank God. Didn't that card say thank you? I thank God I'm alive. You're just so good to be true. Not too good, but you so good. I, I, I So I can't take my eyes off you because if I thought you was too good, I'd turn away because I would think that wasn't mine. Spirit said, nah, you done stumbled up on the garden like I I have seen. And I I can't take them. I can't take them off of you. <laughs> what I'm supposed to do? I, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Spirit said you shouldn't. You ought to be wise. This is duality. You understand? This is a balancing of a thing. This is I came in beast mode and oh, oh I came in beast mode, right? You I, I mean, spirit, you know spirit give it to me so that a kid can pick this up like anybody. You don't gotta be high priestess nowhere to be no elite edit whatever, okay? Just Tablet plate, please. So that people can eat of it. Because ain't that what the growth is about? Like, ain't it supposed to be growing? Just speaking from thinking that is the master's task, yeah? <laughs> right? Not for them to cling, but for them to soar. You empower them to go on their own not to become your minion yeah another word another time wise caps round here we know what that's about spirit said this is duality this is time where things are aligning well if you think about the plainness right let's get back aligned and on track i was just talking to y'all about how you know um things aligning themselves this duality to the garden and it giving the beauty and the beast and, and spirit saying make it plain basic elementary so anybody can understand it meaning in children's terms yeah so the movie beauty and the beast the story book whichever version you prefer right so the story goes this big beast captures the dead captures Belle. you know she's the disney princess Right, but she tamed the beast, but she ain't tame him because she was like no warrior. She wasn't guest on, you know, with the he's the greatest at war, you know what I mean? Subtle love, strengthen who she is, the integrity, the the idea that that my father's weak, I'm gonna be in his stead. There's no son to to make recompense for him. I must stand in the gap. It was just the offering of the nurturing. It was just the the the, the beauty of the divine feminine. It was just. The garden of her, it was just the natural nurturer of her, the natural corrector in her, convictor in her to say, whoa, 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 why are you so beastie with me? You took away my father. I'm sacrificing to, to be here like I'm here. Like, what you still yelling for? What you still beast mode for? I, I've submitted to you. We've made the trade. I ain't no loss, you know, on, on, on my word, no nothing. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. What you still in beast mode for? We done submitted to you. You've been. To, what What is you still beast mode for? Less. Less now. You got to look at you when you looking at that rose, right? He watching the petals fall. Your life depend on it. Well, what she whispered was kind of sweet. It, it. It. I came in beast mode, but when I when I stumbled upon the garden, I. It was a sacred space. It was in my sacred union. It was back in alignment to something that's. You a part of something that's organic in me. Oh, 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 you get it. Remember we talked about the lotus experience. Spirit said, neither word that I've given to you will fall void. It will not fall to the wayside. You can go back and check and check and check and check and check. Spirit say, prove me to be true. Prove me to be true. <laughs> Test 
my gangster. Spirit been out here showing off, y'all. I'm just the messenger. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the energy that I feel, and so I'm wording it how I'm feeling it. It's real in the vibe of try me if you want to. I'm just telling you, okay? <laughs> I'm not saying that's how I feel, although I agree and I like it, Spirit. I'm down. I'm just saying, like, that's how Spirit is giving it. Real tough. <laughs> real raw. So if that's the energy, I'm trying just display it to y'all but you understand the beast who <laughs> find yourself who you are where you are <laughs> circumstance you know your life not me i'm just giving the message you got to find yourself came in beastie <laughs> this ain't funny it's just that it's beauty and the beast i'm just saying how i feel it okay <laughs> you came in real beastie <laughs> i don't know who you are what you are how it's going spirit said came in real beastie And there was something there, that lotus energy. It was something there, that sacred garden moment, the beauty of it, the subtleness of it. I, I can finally feel the petals now. I've, I've been looking at this rose capsulated all this time, and it's always looked to me like my death because everybody else is saying the rose is beautiful, right? But to the beast, that delicate shit is horrible. I got to keep it only delicate because it is my life, not because I realize it's delicacy for real. Ooh! Zion, preach a word to me then. Let me eat of it while I'm giving it, please, because I'm liking where you're going with this spirit, yeah? Spirit said, the beast was looking at the soft rose, only soft, because if I don't keep it soft, my life is gone. Everybody else is looking at it because it's free. You can pluck it if you want. You can get bouquets of it. It's a beautiful flower. It's a symbol of this. It's a boop, boop, boop. So although it appears on the outside that he's keeping it sacred under the, you know, little thing. Didn't mean that he cared about it. The beast cared about himself. And so I have to care for you enough to keep me alive. Yeah. Love. Ooh sees that rose and can feel what the petals actually feel like when when he encountered what was real truth organic what the garden represents your purity organic place a natural state of being love where love dwells in the natural essence of a thing truth dwells vulnerability purity dwells in you know Ooh, the valley of, if you will, the trench of the the opening up of the walking into the sacredness right of you know that place in the in the healing authenticity is the symbology of the garden yeah come in womb energy divine feminine the beauty therein you know you're coming into a space because you want to get embraced right so the welcoming in of And not misplacing that this is two energy, the garden, so it has to be full life. This here is real masculine energy, right? It's being placed in the garden, hello? And then everyone can be secure because all things are aligned and in their proper place. And now this beauty can be, you know, bestowed upon the world. But first, because remember, his whole team is in the balance here, not just him, right? Right? So spirit has given it to me like this. So when she's entered the space, the garden, the sacredness, love, healing via this vessel bell comes in the building. He now has to recognize that rose differently because now you got the rose that you got encapsulated for your life. Now spirit is giving you a real tangible representation of the rose, but we call her bell. And you ain't going to be able to just keep her in the room and keep her locked up because she, unlike the rose, can move about. Both living organisms, but this tangible one, she got a mouth. She can talk. <laughs> she can tell you how she's feeling about a thing. That rose got to stay encapsulated. Spirit said, I'm giving you the tangible love walking around right now because I need you to get it in another way. Right? You might be the doubter. You might be the one who lied, been lied to a million times so you can't trust. You might be the one, head walls up, got walls up, keep them sturdy and locked up, keep them tied up right now while you listening to me. And Spirit said, I need them to come down. So Spirit say, I'm talking to those, right? You beast mode. You got this shit together. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody going to break my heart no more. You know what I mean? Locked up. Loaded. 
walking around soft-hearted and you don't make no moves because you're too fearful that somebody going to break it. So you walking around like uh, 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 Samuel L. Jackson when he was like, you know, the broken man or whatever with the bones. Just a little bit of action. Something going to break me. Can't move nowhere. Eggshell everywhere. Ain't nobody even holding you bound. Your mind, your feelings, holding you bound yourself. You see what I'm saying? Find yourself where you are, Spirit say. But somebody's stumbling across this garden right here, Spirit say. Make no never minds. Don't think this conversation going left and right. We we right on. We right on. We right on point. Spirit say this is a duality of a thing, you understand? Secret garden. The beast comes in. Whatever your beast look like. But when spirit gave the tangible representation of the rose that you can keep confined, now I'm going to give you another rose. Same energy, love, healing that you need to stay alive. Only this one is its own, Adam, Eve, if you will. This one got its own knowing. Right? Both of you have need of each other for real. Because while the beast needed Bell, you best believe love works reciprocal always because it's a natural flow. We reservoir for each other, right? That is love. It, it, it makes all things of itself available to you. And because love is all, then all things are availed to you. What you going to do with it? You see, Spirit is beckoning unto a group of us to say, well, what, what are you going to do with it, though? You know, that, that's another piece, right? But the beast, whatever that beast is for you, Spirit says you've, you have or you're about to encounter a garden experience for yourself. And it's going to bring things into an aligned, such an aligned place where spirit is giving people the real understanding of peace that pass all understanding. Like, you're going to be like questioning the fuck out of this thing. Like, spirit say, I'm ready to, like, I'm trying to blow some minds for real. And there's some people out here that really are deserving of having their minds blown for real. Because even in that in which you're asking me for is such on a humble scale. Like, I'm trying to give you something because spirit is for weeks now has been talking about a remnant of some people that have been doing so much with so little and like i'm going to give you an abundance of a thing because if you're doing that much overload and making it happen happen with that little bit oh i can give you an abundance and i already know what your heart looked like because that in which you have which is minimal you're willing to run all of it all of it Oh, when I bless you, it's going to be for real. It's going to be real good. It's going to be overflowing. It's going to be like manna fall from heaven because I don't want you to have no need of nothing. Why should you? You understand? Come through, Zion. That make me feel good. Come through, Zion. Inside of us dwells the well of all existence. And it's in our being mindful of it that really shifts it all it seems so simple but it means a rewiring of all these things and all of these feelings and all these experiences and really finite combing through them and figuring out what it was we needed to learn or need to still get from it so that i can maneuver my way have other experiences and things that will trigger that to see what i have gotten and haven't but but not to kill myself out or, or deter myself from the journey, but to show me that in which I've grown and learned from and that in which I still need to pursue. That's life. It's not a, a death sentence. It is life. It's the journey. Be free enough in my mind and in my heart to know that it's okay for me to rock my journey my way and learn it. And for those that are unconditionally showing up in my life, they will love me through that journey because they're diligently doing theirs as well. And so we are there to encourage one another because even if my ills are not yours and I might not understand the dealings that you have to overcome, right? They may seem easy or trivial to me, but for you, they're everything. And the same way I don't want you to judge mine, I don't want you to judge mine. You know, Chris Brown got that song, please don't judge me and I won't judge you because it can get you know, because it could get ugly before it gets beautiful. So please don't judge me. <laughs> and if you love me, just let it be <laughs> beautiful. Not that I can't ask you questions or nothing, no. But that the offense is laid to the side because this is love for real and it comes without conditions. And so I got to be able to to be able to allow my blank canvas to show forth before you all of it. But I got to be willing to accept yours too. And so you get an opportunity to really feel because when you're telling someone how you feel, you want them to be responsive to your feelings. But when somebody's telling you about their feelings, a lot of times you want them to do the same thing. Cater to how you feel about their story or experience. No, that's your moment to now be reciprocal in offering just the space to be who they are. Give no fucks about your opinion. Just allow them to just know that they can be 
with you. That's love. Part of love just says you could just be. Even if I had an opinion about it. You would know that my opinion would be there if you needed it. But it's not going to affect the conditions of how I love you because that comes without condition. I'm still going to love you not understanding what the fuck it is you're doing. I'm still going to love you not liking what it is that you're deciding to do right now. I'm still going to love you when you're doing everything great. I'm going to love you when you're broken. I'm going to love you when you're finding the pieces. I'm going to love you when you can't figure it out. This love doesn't come with a condition. Therefore, in all of those places and spaces of life, you know that I still have reservoir of all things love for you because nothing ever comes to dip that out because it's always overflowing for you because love insists that there's always overflow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I keep my vibration high with you in mind to love you. Spirit said somebody came and witnessed the beauty. I got to get ready to go because time, just the camera, but it's more to this word for sure. Um, which maybe I'll go live later and we'll go into, how about that? So we'll end now. And then later I put a thing up, a poll up, answer what the timings are. Cause they done fucked around and let me go live on YouTube now. So I'm going to try to go live with y'all. It's a good 135 of y'all. Um, so even if everybody's not on here at one time, that's enough people to be able to build some intimacy. Um, you know, I'm not in it for big things. I'm in it for the actual purpose. And 100 people are a lot. When I do work, I usually don't go over 10 people in a room. That's a lot of energy, a lot of expending, a lot of receiving a thing. So um, it's a little different barrier doing it this way. Um, so it allows me to do a little, to do it a little bit different. You know what I mean? Um, so I want to be able to do for the rest of this month attraction readings. When I go live, if you on and you want one, just say something in the comments and then I'll be able to do a reading right there on the spot for you. I don't know how that'll work on Facebook. It goes beautifully. Um, uh, I've never done it, you know, like on YouTube. So I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I'm going to try. You don't know what it'll be until you try. So that's that. So we'll continue the beauty and the beast. That's what I'll entitle the live later on tonight might be around eight ish or some shit. I'm not really sure. But when I know YouTube will notify y'all or whatnot and we'll dig deeper into this. So I'll keep this out on the altar, do some work on it a little bit and then come back and, and delve deeper into that beauty and the beast. OK, that's what we're going to do. OK, we're going to chop it up like that. OK, so it's been Rosh Girl Ashes of Rebirth. Peace out. Remember to be loving, guided by all things pure, true, and love. All things great and grand. Be beckoning unto you. It's been real. Peace out. Ashe.